Today we're going to talk a little bit about pinfish traps. Pinfish is a very common live bait that is used for inshore and offshore species. Pinfish can obviously be harvested by hook and line, cast net, or with the use of one of these pinfish traps. And uh, I'm going to go over just a few of the design standards. There are not many. Um, the trap itself has to be a wire mesh material. Uh, the trap cannot exceed two feet in each dimension, meaning length, width, and height. Um, so this is a legal size pinfish trap. The entrance ways, or the doors, have a standard for the interior, the narrowest portion of the entrance. This entrance cannot exceed three inches in height or three quarters inch in width. And as a rule of thumb, Placing your hand in there might be a good way to measure. It should be, your hand should fit in there, but not all the way, just your fingers. Um, you can have multiple entrances. This trap has two. It also has a door here that allows you to put your bait material uh, inside the trap. And a lot of people use menhaden or mullet or some sort of fish species that will attract the pinfish. In terms of marking your trap, there are no requirements. I would I put my name on my buoy and also put a tag on the trap to identify it as being my property uh, but that is not a requirement so it's up to you now you can fish these tied to a dock and you'll see that a lot without the buoy so you can tie them directly to a dock or you can place them out in the waterway um, please don't put them in marked navigational channels but anywhere else is fine um, and Please also remember the importance of bringing your traps back in when you're, when you're finished harvesting your bait. Uh, a lot of people leave their traps out indefinitely, and these things are you know, a, a hazard to navigation, and so we highly recommend that you bring them in when you're finished using them.